Okay, so I'm David Maurer. Um, I'm CEO of Green Zero Energy. We just recently launched here in Dayton. We plan to have a big impact on renewable energy. Uh, a lot of times renewable energy is, is more of a stationary, more of a stationary application. We're looking at making it mobile. And that's really where our technology will revolutionize the renewable industry market. We're using a source that you can hook onto. You can know that you're actually helping with emissions. We're not only helping lower emissions, but we see ourselves as a bridge between the user and renewable energy, where they can actually have a tangible hands-on, understand like where the energy is. As I got into the work environment and I started realizing that I have more, even despite my handicap or my, or my disability, When I say handicap, I look at a handicap as when you have anything that hinders you with what you want to do. You know, so everybody has handicaps. Nobody likes looking at their handicap as a handicap, you know, but if you look at like what the word, what it means, it's when you have anything that hinders you from doing what you want to do. And so with me having a stutter, that was a big hindrance even after I realized even after I realized that I was a leader. What made me into an entrepreneur, I would say I began realizing these things about myself. And it takes a while to actually recognize them in yourself. Others will see them and the people who like you or who have respect will say, hey, I don't know if you know this about yourself. And they'll let you know, like, hey, like you really have this. I think you, I think you, you're natural at this. And it takes a while to sink in because I was, you know, I'm just like, are you sure? Like, like, how would I ever, how would I ever have this ability? I mean, I have a stutter and I'm listing off all the things about myself that I look at as negative. One thing I learned actually recently, and I'm, I'm, I'm a father, I have three little ones and I look at them and I think we'll naturally as a parent, we'll look at, we'll look at a child and say, what do they do well like what do they excel at like what oh he's really amazing at this really amazing at this really amazing at this he should he should um have this as occupation or do this and i think looking at my life that's not how it worked that's not how it worked with me and i think as moms and dads like we go and stress that a lot to our little ones uh, what they do well like you're so good at this and i think that's good i think that's good but I think helping them realize who they are and accepting who they are, even if it's a weakness, even if it's a thing that is a hindrance or, or a handicap or whatever it is, that may be how they make the difference in this world. What I found is there were more obstacles than even what I thought. I thought that my speech was one thing, but for me, and I know everybody has their thing, you know, but for me, having a speech impediment, and I'm a black man, normally we have to go above and beyond to be accepted. If we want to apply for a job, like we have to have a bachelor's degree, even if you only need an associate's degree. You know what I'm saying? There's a stigma out there, and I, I hate to say that, you know, but there is. That's really hard when you have a speech impediment because automatically you're looked at as you're nervous or you don't know what to say. Um, when you're in a conversation and you stutter, like people think you're nervous. And I know what to say. Like my brain, like I know exactly what I'm gonna say. I have, I have no problem with that. But I can't let the words out, so I have to go around words. And I, I can't even, um, if they're asking me a question, I can't answer it to look intelligent. And so it causes me to be just who I am. Really, that's why I'm here right now is, is to share with you guys, it's, it's okay to be who you are. I think it's important to um, most importantly realize who you are and even, even embrace those weaknesses, those things that 
you don't look at as a strength because I've had to finally look at my impediment as a strength. This is where I am. This is me. I'm on unemployment. I'm working on a startup. I don't have a lot of money. I'm a CEO of, of a company that I believe will go, will go on and change the world. After my business was affected by the virus, I could have stayed in Rockets and I still have my business there. And I even gotten a call from my customer after I moved to Ohio saying we've launched again, we're up and running again. It's expensive in California. And when you don't have a lot of money, um, especially because of the virus, unemployment, all of that, um, I started looking looking into Dayton because I'm originally from Dayton. And I, I also knew that Dayton has had a history of manufacturing, machining, and a whole lot of industry here. I think that here in Dayton, with the history that they have, there really is a potential here. And I think with, with my organization having the relevancy in our time, in, in this year, understanding all the mandates that are going out for renewable energy, for lowering emissions, the, the, there's a push. And I think that we answer, we have a solution to a problem that's actually worldwide. And yes, we are starting here in the U.S., but I see us expanding, us expanding international all over the world. And, and I think that if we are able to launch here in Dayton and we are a success, Dayton's going to be on the radar for lots of innovators in the future. I think that it's going to attract a lot of manufacturers because I'm a believer in local manufacturers and supply chain. I believe in using who's around you and making a network out and having that around you. It's really all about the economy, the investors, manufacturers, having a supply chain. And I, I, I think that we can do that here in Dayton. I'm David Maurer and I'm an entrepreneur.